checking out Agnes Water Beach, Aggie Water Beach we call it. that the salt water's gonna help with all my itchy bites. At Smallies Beach I got attacked and my feet are on fire. <laughs> That's my swollen foot being bitten like all here, down there, all here, underneath. Now you tell me, does that look like a scratched itchy bite or a non-scratched itchy bite? This foot's not swollen. This foot is swollen. I look like the guy out of uh... oh! Big Trouble in Little China. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tongue twister. We just saw a sea snake. It's, it's like sea sauce. Like she sells seashells by the seashore? Something like that. <laughs> we just saw a sea snake. Yeah, I've never seen a sea snake before. That's cool. Apparently, I was talking to the guy and he said that they're not very agile on land. So, makes sense. You're safe, even though you're being pretty naughty. How are your feet feeling? Better. Yeah, mine are too. Almost hesitant to rinse off. My arms are a bit itchy though. Oh. It didn't work on my arms, I don't know why. They weren't in as long. Yeah, maybe that's why. Oh well. That's the shower for the day. Yeah. <laughs> Ready to leave. Get out of Dodge. Getting out of Dodge. Leaving Aggie Waters. Yeah, I'm ready to I'm ready to move on. Me too. It's been our place for the last couple of days. So that was me. And that was Tina. We got the mattresses off because there's nobody else here. We'll push the beds together down here. Like a 1950s couple. <laughs> We're going to go check out the point at 1770. We didn't quite get there yesterday because we had to stop short and catch that magnificent sunset. We'll go and check it out this morning before we head off. All right, let's go. Tina backing it in because it's a uh, downhill. That's a pro tip for the short rider, right baby? <laughs> We're now doing the hike up to the 1770 lookout or Busted Bay lookout. This is the second spot on the Australian east coast that Captain Cook and the Endeavour came ashore when they were exploring Australia back in 1770. It set on the 24th of May and uh, apparently this place, because no development is allowed, it's uh, relatively unchanged since they were here. So. This is basically, other than the walking track that we're on, similar to what they would have been experiencing. And the road we used. <laughs> and the road, the road that, that we used, but but uh, yeah, the this, rest of the, place. the rest of it, the, uh, the the flora and the fauna. Yeah. This is what they would have been seeing. So, pretty cool. A couple of other uh, interesting facts about the 
Endeavour voyage up the Australian east coast is that after here they continue to head north into the Great Barrier Reef although of course they didn't realise they were going into the Great Barrier Reef and um, just past Cairns they ran into their first bit of trouble when they hit a bit of reef and so they named that point Cape Tribulation because as Cook said it's where all of their troubles began and then a little bit further north from that they hit some reef hard and almost sank and they had to basically dump almost everything that they could spare into the into the water so they didn't sink and then come ashore spend six or seven weeks repairing the ship before leaving it again and so that place is now named Cooktown so I find it interesting anyway so maybe you will too <laughs> Got the first uh, water view. We're just out of the out of the woods on the walk. Pretty nice. So they were parked somewhere out there, almost exactly 250 years ago. Maybe it would have been a better idea to do this hike yesterday. Probably uh, not the most comfortable thing to get all sweated up before a long bike ride. <laughs> I don't know if we can get to the tip from here. But it's a nice spot. It's weird, there's a lot of dead birds around here. Just down there. I wonder what's going on there. Another dead bird. We reckon uh, maybe they're birds of prey and when they dive in to catch some shit yeah, or something. Maybe some... It's like high tide. Or low tide? Oh, and they hit a rock up here. Yeah. You reckon they died here or not out there and they got washed up? Oh, that's possible. We don't really know. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon yeah, that's yeah, it. Let's get out of here. Yep, yeah, I'm dead back. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Grace. <laughs> The fishing bird theory is out of the window. I don't think the tide, yeah. I don't think the tide comes up that high. It must be maybe. I don't know. They're sick, poisoned. Something horror movie related. Yeah. Anyway, heading back now. Is it my birthday? Hey, Bubby. What? Hmm? Yeah, you forced me to carry your bag and you asked me No. Me. You, wanted, you wanted to carry my bag. I feel like you wanted me to That's film true. it too. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I don't need recognition for my good deeds, okay? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's get moving. Rainbow Beach and we're about to check out the Calo Sand Blow. place is stunning. Trying out our first takeoff with Roggie from the hand. So do I just let go? Yeah, when he pulls up. Just make sure your fingers are away from the props.
It's a lot of work crawling around on this stuff. How cool is it? Fraser Island is somewhere out there. I thought we would be able to see it, but... Is that it over there? Over there? Oh, it is. It's to the, it's to the left of it, at the north of the... Yeah. Yeah, you can catch a ferry over there. Oh, that's Fraser Island over there. <laughs> and I guess uh, the, the way this is formed is by, I guess, just... Well, as the name would suggest, the sand blows up here. Every long time. <laughs> yeah. Piles up. Huh. Oh, yeah, pretty impressive. Yeah. <sighs> Let's Beautiful go. Place. Yeah, it is. That's a wrap of the Carlo sand blow. Definitely worth it. The sand was so soft. Yeah, forgot how tiring it is to walk up sand hills. It was a workout. Mm. Anyway, we're off uh, to pack up and we're moving on to Noosa today. We might stop along the way somewhere to pick some strawberries. Yeah, if we have time, we'll if pick we some time. strawberries. We ran a little late today. We slept in a little bit as usual, but we'll see how we go. <laughs> Strawberry picking season by that much. I read that it was November, but. Wouldn't you say July to October? July to October. So. Oh well, so she's sending us down, right down the back. Down there. We might be able to get some, some strawberries. If we can find any stragglers, we can have them for free, she said. Yeah. Pretty cool. It doesn't look like there's uh, many left. That is one. Is one? Nice. I don't know. It feels a bit hard. A bit firm? Yeah. Oh, there's a real red one. Where? Oh, here. You see? Hmm. That one does look good. Do you have to wash them? I don't know. Whoa. That yeah. is sweet. Wow. Strawberries are sour. That was good. Actually, it's still sour. Well, this one is anyway. Mm. That's yummy. That's tasty. All right, we'll get some more. Yeah, drama. So we just got to get through all of these now. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy with a couple of strawberries. That'd help, but I, I gotta be the cameraman. Right, baby? Right. You're doing a good job. I can imagine being a farmer. Well, like personal farmer, like for our own stuff. Yeah. I'd grow strawberries. I'd grow eggplant. Shell. What else would you grow? I'd grow avocado. Pumpkins. Mangoes, pumpkins, pumpkins. Pretty good, pumpkins. There's some on that side, there's some really good ones. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Will they ripen up afterwards? No. Actually, I don't know. I'm not a farmer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, she says confidently. It's <laughs> a problem. Oh. This guy's trying to pick some strawberries. <gasps> that's a cane toad, eh? Is it? Isn't it? Maybe, a little one. 
Look at all these strawberries. He was going after this one. Look at that. I don't know. He's not a strawberry toad. <laughs> nice. That one there? Yeah. We're getting quite the collection. That's a pretty good result. I think so too. I'm happy with that. Mm. What, do you, what, what is it called? Like A strawberry. <laughs> 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 I mean like our harvest. Oh yeah, ah, that's what I'm, it's called, I'm happy it? with our harvest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> strawberry lemonade. Mm. The pancakes look good, but so do scones. What are you thinking? I gotta go to the scones. Oh yum. Thank you. There you go. Got Thank you. you. It's the jam made with the strawberry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we make it here just made it smoothie. Oh, okay. so we do our strawberry jam here and our strawberry topping. Yep. Yeah. And then all our drinks up there on the um, we make our lavender. How's that feel, Baba? I think it expanded in my stomach. That's um, a big feeling. I'm full. It's dense. You did a good job. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. That was only four bucks. Yeah? Yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Bargain. bargain. <laughs> Tina likes a good bargain. Mm -hmm. What? What just happened, Baba? Got back to the bike. I left my keys in them. <laughs> in the middle of nowhere, though. Who's gonna take the bike? Security, huh? <laughs> I was making it real hard for someone. Yeah, we might have been. Might have been just Franco's adventures around Australia. <laughs> Do they? That one's Charlie. <laughs> the other one, easy one. Alright, let's get this stuff to the room. My god, I am sweaty as a mofo. Yeah. Oh. Me too. Ta. Alright, follow me. <laughs> hey, Charlie. Oh. Not a friendly, not a friendly chat no. oh. Bobby doing the heavy lifting. Yeah. As always, although I'm carrying pretty heavy load these days too. Yeah. <sighs> I feel that sweat, eh?